and it's an armlet made of plated leather with copper alloy mounts on it as well. Mud may seem like just a dirty mess, but it can conceal surprises beneath its murky surface. From remarkably preserved bog bodies to lost World War II tanks, join us as we show you the 20 strangest things found in the mud. Number 20. The Grauball Man In the peat bogs of Grauball, Denmark, an astonishing discovery was made that would shake the world of archaeology to its core. In 1952, a group of peat diggers were going about their daily work harvesting peat from the bogs when they stumbled upon what appeared to be a recent murder victim buried in the mud. However, this was no ordinary body. The Grauball Man, as he came to be known, was actually a perfectly preserved mummy dating all the way back to the Iron Age over 2,000 years ago. The state of preservation was extraordinary. Facial features, hair, and even fingerprints were intact. It was as if he had died only yesterday. This miraculous preservation was thanks to the unique conditions of the peat bog that essentially mummified the body. The highly acidic, low-oxygen environment arrested decay and left the Grauball man in hibernation for millennia. Examination of the remains painted a grim picture of his demise. His neck had been slit so deeply that his head was almost decapitated, evidence of a sacrificial death. During the Iron Age, it is believed human sacrifice was practiced as part of religious rituals. Could Grauball Man have met such an end? Further clues include his last meal preserved in his stomach, a porridge of grains and seeds. The Grauball Man continues to fascinate archaeologists and historians today. His discovery fundamentally changed our understanding of Iron Age Europeans in terms of physical appearance, clothing, diet, and even spiritual practices involving sacrifice. Number 19. Tank in Mud Beneath the murky surface of Poland's Warta River slumbers a steel relic of World War II, cloaked in mystery. In 2012, sonar scanning revealed an unexpected find lying in the riverbed mud. A remarkably preserved British Valentine tank dating back to the final violent months on the Eastern Front. This particular Valentine has an intriguing yet enigmatic history. Manufactured in Britain, it was transferred to the Soviet Red Army in 1944 as the Soviets prepared to push Germany out of Poland. The romantic name Valentine strikes a starkly discordant note against this machine of combat and destruction, yet bears an intriguing backstory. One theory claims it was presented to the British War Office on February 14th, Valentine's Day, earning it the sweetheart moniker. What fate befell the damaged Valentine and its crew? It likely sank in 1945 during Soviet combat maneuvers to cross the frozen Warta River near Warsaw. Rather than sinking through the ice when crossing, it was likely hit by enemy fire. The shell struck the front of the tank, the blast breaking the ice below. The missing crew may have survived or been captured. As the damaged tank became mired in mud and sediment, it became enveloped in a protective cocoon that prevented corrosion over the ensuing decades. Number 18. The Hoxney Horde In 1992, a farmer's lost hammer led to the unearthing of the largest cache of Roman treasure ever found in Britain, the magnificent Hoxney Horde. While searching for his hammer in Hoxney, Suffolk, England, Eric Laws stumbled upon silver spoons, gold jewelry, and a trove of over 15,000 gold and silver coins dating to the 4th century CE. The massive hoard includes exquisitely crafted household items like pepper pots and silver bowls, and highly decorated jewelry that reflect the expert metalworking skills of Roman craftsmen. Coins make up the bulk of the treasure, including around 569 gold solidi, minted across the Roman Empire from Constantinople to Italy. How did such a staggering collection of Roman finery end up buried in the English countryside? Historians believe it was hidden for safekeeping during a turbulent period when the Romans were abandoning Britain, around 408 AD. The wealthy owner likely buried the hoard intending to return later, but perished before retrieving it. Number 17. The Tolland Man Few archaeological finds capture the imagination quite like Tolland Man. Discovered in 1950 in a peat bog on the Jutland Peninsula in Denmark, this remarkably well-preserved bog body continues to fascinate over 70 years later. Tolland Man lived during the 4th century BCE during the Iron Age. Thanks to the preservative properties of peat bogs, his body tissue, facial features, and even his last meal remained intact. His peaceful expression, eyes closed as if sleeping, belies the violent nature of his death. 
Evidence shows Tallin Man was ritually sacrificed. A braided leather noose wrapped around his neck indicates hanging and possible strangulation. His last meal of porridge hints he was killed after fasting for his final day. Radiocarbon dating of Tallin Man coincided with a period when human sacrifice peaked in Iron Age Europe. His remains point to death by ritual sacrifice possibly as an offering to gods during hard times. Apart from these sobering details, Tallend Man's excellent preservation allows insights into his life and the people of his era. From his well-manicured nails to the stubble on his chin, archaeologists gained information on his appearance, diet, and even the textile technology of his community. Number 16. Ancient Bog Butter Butter has been relished by humans across cultures for millennia. This rich, golden fat graced ancient tables, adding flavor and nourishment to breads, vegetables, and meats. Strangely, some butter was buried in bogs, maybe for preservation or for ritual offerings. One such treasure was discovered in Ireland in 2016, a 22-pound chunk of bog butter dated to around 400 BCE in the Iron Age. This fatty find was encased in a wooden container unearthed in a bog in County Meath. Similar bog butters have been found before, but this Iron Age specimen is the largest and oldest on record. Radiocarbon dating and its vessel style indicate it was buried in the Celtic era. Bog butter remains edible due to the bog's acidic, oxygen-free environment that provides ideal natural refrigeration. This discovery adds to evidence that ancient Celtic people utilized bogs to store perishable foods like butter for later consumption. The large size suggests it was a communal butter reserve, not merely for a single farm. It may have been buried as a ritual offering, or to provide a dairy stockpile for lean times. Analysis shows the butter was derived from cow's milk, revealing animal husbandry practices of the period. Number 15. The Old Krogan Man In 2003, the remarkably well-preserved remains of a young man were found in an Irish bog. This was no contemporary murder victim. The Old Krogan Man, as he came to be known, was an Iron Age bog body dating back over 2,000 years. His remains bore witness to a tragic demise with evidence of a violent death. Yet they also provided a revealing glimpse into the distant past. Discovered in County Offaly, the old Krogan man was buried in a peat bog around 350 to 175 BCE during the Iron Age. The dry, acidic conditions preserved his remains in astonishing detail. From his hands to his knees to his nipples, the intricacies of his physiology were visible. Analysis suggests he was a tall man in his early 20s and in robust health when he was killed. Further examination uncovered grim clues about old Krogan man's death. He had holes pierced through his upper arms, indicating he had been pinned down before execution. His nipples were also cut, pointing to torture. He was then decapitated and dismembered. The overkill points to punishment for a serious offense or human sacrifice. Number 14. Mammoth in the Mud The frozen earth of ancient Alaska once rumbled under the feet of mighty woolly mammoths, towering Ice Age creatures clad in thick fur coats and armed with long, curving ivory tusks. 10,000 years later, remnants of these Ice Age behemoths still emerge from their grave. In 2022, a massive mammoth femur bone was discovered in Alaskan mud. This stunning relic was unearthed along a remote Alaskan beach by flooding and high winds. Local couple Joseph and Andrea Nasik stumbled upon the exposed bone while hiking to survey storm damage. Propped vertically, the gigantic femur reached Andrea's waist in height. After struggling to hoist it from the mud, its sheer scale became apparent, measuring 46 inches long and weighing a staggering 62 pounds. The analysis identifies this huge femur as belonging to an ancient woolly mammoth that inhabited Alaska over 10,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch before dying out. Despite its age, this mammoth thigh bone remained remarkably intact. Its immense size and near pristine condition make it an extremely rare find. Examination reveals its circumference spans 34.5 inches at its widest point, hinting at a mammoth of formidable proportions. The bone's coloring and mineralization reflect the passage of millennia spent entombed in Alaskan earth before its recent revelation by the typhoon. Number 13. The Lindo Man. In 1984, an astonishing discovery emerged from a peat bog in Cheshire, England. The perfectly preserved remains of the Lindo Man. Dating back almost 2,000 years to the mid-1st century AD, 
This Iron Age man survived the millennia thanks to the unique conditions of his watery grave. The peat bog preserved his body tissues, skin, beard stubble, and even fingerprints. He remains one of the best preserved bog bodies ever found in Britain. Lindo Man met a particularly violent triple death around the age of 25. Analysis shows he was struck on the head, strangled with a cord, and had his neck slashed. This brutal treatment points to ritual sacrifice, a practice seen in Iron Age Europe. Druids may have offered him as a sacrifice to appease their gods. His prominent Adam's apple and well-groomed nails suggest he held high social status before this gruesome fate. Number 12. The Vasa. On August 10, 1628, a great warship sank to the bottom of Stockholm Harbor on its maiden voyage. That ill-fated ship was the Vasa, now one of the best-preserved 17th-century vessels ever found, and a time capsule into maritime history. The ornately decorated ship was built as the crown jewel of King Gustavus Adolphus's naval fleet at the height of Sweden's imperial power. But due to a top-heavy design, it sank merely 1,300 meters into its voyage, settling on the harbor floor. In 1961, the remarkably intact wreck of the Vasa was raised from the seabed. Along with its imposing hull, elaborate wood carvings were stunningly preserved, depicting figures like lions and warriors. The recovery of this 330-year-old ship was an engineering marvel and archaeological jackpot. The cold Baltic waters had preserved it in an astonishing state of completeness, with over 95% of the ship intact. Studying the Vasa offers a wealth of insights into 17th century shipbuilding, sailing, and even insights into the lives and deaths of the crew. Everything from bows and arrows to combs and wine barrels were found on board this extraordinary time capsule. Today, the Vasa Museum in Stockholm allows visitors to experience the majesty of this 17th century masterpiece coming back to life after over three centuries in darkness on the seafloor. Number 11. The Elling Woman. In 1938, a chance discovery in a peat bog in Denmark unveiled the remarkably preserved body of a woman from the distant past. This ancient bog body became known as the Elling Woman. Dating back around 2300 years to roughly 280 BCE in the Iron Age, the Elling Woman's remains offer an extraordinary window into the lives and deaths of Northern Europeans during the Late Bronze Age. The peat bog provided ideal conditions to arrest decay. As a result, intricate details were preserved from her fingernails, nose, and hair, to the woven bands and cloak adorning her body. Even the contents of her stomach were intact. Analyzing her stomach bits revealed a primitive porridge, likely her last meal. Further examination indicates the Elling woman was approximately 16 years old when she died. She suffered from scoliosis, a curvature of the spine, the noose wrapped around her neck points to a ritual death by hanging or strangulation. This grim demise was shockingly common in Iron Age Europe. Due to her spinal deformity, some scholars theorize she may have been killed as a sacrifice to the gods in hopes of turning around a spate of bad luck in her community. Apart from these sobering details, the Elling woman's remains provide a trove of insights into Iron Age people's health, diet, appearance, and textile technology. As one of the best preserved specimens from this era, she continues to help reconstruct and breathe life into a little understood period of prehistory in Northern Europe. Number 10. Dinosaur Footprints. Transport back 230 million years, when Scotland's Isle of Skye echoed with the footsteps of dinosaurs. There, paleontologists uncovered over 50 fossilized dinosaur prints, allowing a glimpse at these fearsome creatures and their behavior. Two distinct track types were identified, indicating both plant-eating and meat-eating dinosaurs frequented this area during the Middle Triassic period. The first prints were traced to a four-legged, 10-meter-long sauropodomorph, an early ancestor of giant, long-necked sauropods. Meanwhile, tridactyl prints with pointed claw impressions revealed a theropod dinosaur. At 50 centimeters long, these are some of the largest theropod tracks ever found in Scotland. While the species remain unknown, the footprint traits match known theropods like T-Rex. These Middle Triassic tracks paint a picture of gigantic dinosaurs from a time before the rise of later behemoths like Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus. Recording the comings and goings of these pioneering dinosaurs provides remarkable insights into evolution and locomotion millions of years ago. Every mark tells a story, making paleontologists' work akin to reading volumes about Earth's bygone inhabitants one footprint at a time. Number 9. The YDE Girl In 1897, 
an eerie discovery emerged from a peat bog in the Netherlands, the body of a girl believed to be an ancient murder victim. However, this was no contemporary crime. The YDE girl, as she became known, was a bog body from the pre-Roman Iron Age, around 2,000 years ago. Thanks to the unique preservative qualities of peat bogs, her remains were in remarkable condition. Hair, skin, nails, and even brain matter were astonishingly intact. Based on the examination, experts placed the YDE girl in her late teens at the time of death. Tree ring dating of the oak wood on her cape pinned down the year she was deposited in the bog to around 54 BCE. But how did she get there? A three-meter-long braided leather belt wrapped tightly around her neck told a tale of strangulation, likely part of a ritual sacrifice. The YDE girl's skin and hair were notably reddish in hue. While some theorized she was a witch, this color was simply due to chemicals from the peat bog. Her distinct hairstyle and cape made from sheepskin provide insights into Iron Age clothing and culture. Though her story ended brutally, the YDE girl continues to play an important role in reconstructing European life 2,000 years ago. Her remains represent an unprecedented time capsule granting us a window into the distant past. Number 8. Seahenge in 1998, an enigmatic circle of wood emerged from beneath the waves at home next the sea in Norfolk, England. Dubbed Seahenge, this structure resembled the famous Stonehenge site. But there were key differences. Seahenge's elements were wooden, and it was thought to date back to around 2050 BCE in the Bronze Age. The formation consisted of an upturned tree stump surrounded by 55 oak posts carefully placed in an oval shape along the shoreline. Archaeologists believe it functioned as a ceremonial site for rituals, potentially connected to funerary rites. The upturned stump may have represented the dead on their journey to the afterlife. Seahenge's brief appearance before the tides once again submerged, it sparked controversy about preservation versus archaeological study. While some advocated studying its timbers to glean construction insights, others championed preserving the structure intact as a single piece. After heated debate, segments were ultimately removed for analysis and exhibit before they could be lost to the sea forever. The significance of Seahenge remains unclear, but it provides remarkable evidence of complex belief systems and construction methods during the Bronze Age in Britain. The brief glimpse we got of this enigmatic wooden circle reveals the potential for even more fascinating archaeological treasures still lying undiscovered beneath the waves. Number 7. Saved Elephant In October 2021, Heartwarming headlines emerged from the Indian state of Odisha, telling the story of a rescued baby elephant. The fortunate calf had become separated from its herd and wandered into a village. Startled by the locals, it scrambled into a deep pit dug for a water pipeline, trapping itself at the bottom. When forest officials arrived, they found the exhausted elephant stuck in mud 15 feet down, crying for help. Attempts to create a path out failed due to the slippery walls, so a more daring strategy was implemented. Using an excavator, the rescuers enlarged the pit to allow an incline. After hours of digging and widening the slope, their perseverance paid off. The elephant managed to clamber up the muddy ramp to freedom. To ensure safety, firecrackers were used to keep other elephants away during the operation. Finally reunited with its herd, the rescued calf enjoyed a joyous homecoming. Apart from minor fatigue, it suffered no injury from its harrowing ordeal. Thanks to clever thinking and dedication from the rescue team, this baby elephant is alive to trumpet the tale of its miraculous escape from what could have been a tragic end. Number 6. The Shigir Idol In 1894, Russian gold prospectors discovered an artifact that stunned archaeologists. The Shigir Idol. Surviving over 11,500 years, this wooden statue is a relic of the prehistoric world and Mesolithic hunter-gatherer culture. The idol was carved from larch, and found buried five meters deep in a peat bog in western Siberia's Sverdlovsk region. Standing over nine feet tall, the Shigir idol is a humanoid figure with bold geometrical features. Its surface is covered in mysterious coded patterns that are unlike anything in modern or ancient art. Some theorists speculate whether these markings represent a lost language or symbolic code. The idol's purpose remains unknown, but it may have held ritual significance. Radiocarbon dating places the Shigir idol's origins around 9600 BCE, in the early Holocene period, when hunter-gatherers transitioned toward agriculture in the Fertile Crescent. This makes it the oldest known large wooden sculpture in the world, twice as old as the Egyptian pyramids. The idol's survival across 12 millennia is thanks to the bog conditions that preserved the wood. 
This ancient artifact provides a tantalizing glimpse into the spiritual lives of prehistoric societies and their advanced carving skills using basic flint tools. The Shagir idol represents an unparalleled connection to our deep ancestral past. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. They just captured it in the mud, and nobody can believe it. Children were playing near a remote lake in Estonia when they noticed strange bubbles surfacing from the murky depths. Their curiosity peaked. They alerted their parents, setting in efforts to investigate the source. What emerged from below was astonishing. A World War II relic lost for over 60 years. A Soviet-built T-34 tank was found preserved nose down in mud along the bank, showing no signs of battle damage. Its pristine condition after decades underwater only deepened the mystery of how this 30-ton armored vehicle came to be abandoned in a watery grave. Recovery crews were stunned by the sight. Freed from its clingy, muddy tomb, the steel behemoth systems remained functional against all odds, leaving the fate of its crew a tragic puzzle. What are your thoughts on this fascinating discovery? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Los Lunas Decalogue Stone In New Mexico's desert lies an ancient mystery carved into stone. Known as the Los Lunas Decalogue Stone, this massive boulder bears an inscription resembling the Ten Commandments in an ancient Semitic script. Archaeologist Frank Hibben proposed one theory that the script was a version of Paleo-Hebrew dating back to between 500 BCE and 1200 CE. This sparked speculation about ancient Hebrew contact with North America centuries before Christopher Columbus. The stone's origins remain contested. Some scholars argue its script closely resembles Phoenician characters. Others insist it is a 19th or 20th century forgery meant to look like Hebrew. Translations of the inscription also vary since its orthography does not completely align with any known language. Without more corroborating evidence, the stone's true origins are enigmatic. The Los Lunas Decalogue stone is awash in questions. Who carved it? When did they carve it? And what connection, if any, did they have with Hebrew cultures? It's tempting to believe it supports pre-Columbian contact between Eurasia and America. But currently, its proponents struggle against claims it is just a modern fraud. Until more proof surfaces, the Los Lunas Stone remains an archaeological mystery concealed in the desert. Number 4. Kensington Rune Stone In 1898, a stone unearthed in Kensington, Minnesota ignited a long-burning controversy. Olaf Oman, a local Swedish immigrant, discovered an engraved slab filled with runic writing while clearing his land. The ancient stone appears inscribed with a record from Viking explorers in 1362 and bears the signature of several men. If genuine, it would rewrite the timeline for European arrival in North America centuries before Columbus. But is it authentic? Linguistic experts have debated whether the Kensington runestone's runes match known 14th century usage. Meanwhile, Geologists have spotted problematic weathering inconsistencies. Skeptical scholars lean toward dismissal as a 19th century hoax. But defenders counter that some weathering evidence favors the stone's antiquity. They see the runes as proof Vikings penetrated deep into Minnesota's heartland in 1362, and the Kensington rune stone is a testament to that forgotten journey. After over a century of contention, the fierce debate still rages on, but there is no consensus either way yet. Until more definitive proof arises, the Kensington runestone persists as an archaeological mystery, hoax, or history. The answer continues to elude historians while igniting the imaginations of those who want to believe. Number 3. Oldest Turtle The discovery of Odontocalus semitestacea rattled the paleontological world. Unearthed in China's Guizhou province, this 220-million-year-old fossil is the oldest known turtle, dubbed the Transitional Turtle, dating back to the Triassic period. Odontocalus exhibits a mix of primitive reptilian and derived turtle traits, causing it to be classified as a missing link in turtle evolution. Unlike modern turtles, Odontocalus had no full top shell. It sported a partially formed lower shell, called a plastron, but its spine was exposed. To paleontologists' surprise, it also possessed teeth, unlike modern turtles which have beaks. This combination of ancestral reptilian features with early turtle hallmarks reveals it as an intermediate stage between reptiles and turtles. Odontocalus sheds light on how the turtle shell evolved from flattened ribs. Its semi-shell also lends support to the theory that shells arose not for protection, but for digging burrows. This groundbreaking find proves turtles appeared 40 million years earlier than previously thought. Odontocalus plugs a crucial gap in the evolutionary saga of one of Earth's oldest reptile groups, rewriting the history of these enduring animals. Number 2. The Terracotta Army 
In one of the most astounding archaeological discoveries of all time, the Terracotta Army was unearthed near the tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. This mind-blowing find was made accidentally in 1974, when farmers digging a well near the city of Xi'an stumbled upon pieces of terracotta. This led to a massive excavation site revealing thousands of life-sized terracotta soldiers, lined up in battle formation and buried en masse. The sheer scale of the terracotta army is breathtaking. Over 8,000 soldiers have been found so far. Each soldier has intricately detailed and unique facial features. They were modeled on real soldiers who served the emperor. The army was created around 210 BC with the purpose of protecting Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife. They stand poised to defend the emperor's tomb from evil spirits. Along with foot soldiers are terracotta horses, chariots, archers, cavalry, and command posts. This complex army was buried in separate pits around the emperor's tomb, ready for action. Weapons found include swords, lances, and arrowheads, though most are now highly oxidized. Over 40 years of continuing excavations have unearthed this incredible army that lay hidden underground for over 2,000 years before being rediscovered and brought to light once again. Number 1. Lost Impala they just captured it in the mud, and nobody can believe it. On a sunny afternoon in Zimbabwe's National Park, a tourist group witnessed an impala's life hang in the balance. Ambushed by a pack of wild dogs, this fleet-footed antelope sprinted for its life. With its pursuers nearly upon it, the impala took a desperate gamble and flung itself into a nearby pond. But the muddy waters became a death trap, immobilizing the impala waist-deep in muck. While wary of the tourists, the wild dogs circled the trapped prey, waiting for an opportunity to strike. But the impala's struggle did not go unnoticed. In a surprising turn, several onlookers resolved to intervene and prevent its demise. A quick-thinking man named John dove into the hazardously thick sludge. He tied a rope around himself and the helpless impala, allowing his companions to drag both to safety. After the precarious extraction, the mud-caked impala stood astonished to be alive. John gently calmed the shaken animal before sending it off to find its herd. Thanks to this kindness, the impala gained a new lease on life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.